Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. Top tip uh, number 19 here follows on from our previous top tip where we were using this image to look at advanced blending modes, which was a way that we could get um, what appears to be a 100% opaque layer um, behaving in a semi-transparent way. If I option click that little eye icon, it will disable all of the other layers. So we can see we're floating these little white fluffy clouds via that advanced blending and this was outlined in the previous top tip so we won't revisit that. This top tip is about clipping groups. Now we have um, a couple of uh, layers already clipped uh, to this text layer. Now I know this is the base layer of the clipping group because it has an underscore going under the name of the layer and we can see the layers that are clipped to it because they have these little um, crooked arrows. I'll just zoom in so you can see those little crooked arrows. Uh, both are an indication that we're limiting uh, what we can see with uh, both this image layer and this adjustment layer and they will go no further than the layer that they're clipped to. Now this is very useful when we're working with compositing to limit an adjustment just to one layer and not all of the layers below that layer. Okay, And uh, the other advantage of these clipping groups is if we have any graphics we can also use the shape of that graphic to self mask um, uh, an image layer uh, to that graphic. And just to highlight that I'll just zoom out so we can see what each of these clipping groups are doing. Okay, so first off, I'll just simplify this composite by just uh, unwinding a few layers there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip them. Uh, we have options for clipping and unclipping um, in the uh, layer menu, and you can see that we can uh, create or release a clipping mask. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, a shortcut that we can do that and we can simply hold down the option on a Mac or the Alt key and you get that clipping icon and by clicking on the dividing line between the two layers I can basically unclip. Okay, now this um, uh, adjustment layer um, is not clipped to the layer below. Okay, and we'll have to probably have to reclip that shortly. But at the moment, we're looking at um, this sky layer, the dramatic storm sky over an ocean, and we want that to populate this text layer below. Now, we don't need to add any layer mask because this is a graphic, we just need to create a clipping group. So, again, holding down the Alt Option key, clicking on that image. Um, or the dividing line between the image and the graphic will push uh, the sky so that it only appears inside of that graphic. Now if we wanted to modify the color of just this one layer, again we can use clipping masks to help us achieve um, our desired outcome. I'll just switch this curves layer back on. Now what this curves layer is doing is basically making a huge blue swing uh, of the color values and also the brightness values of this layer. Now what happens with an adjustment layer when it's not clipped is it will affect all of the layers below. Okay, But as soon as we add that into a clipping group, either using the keyboard shortcut, uh, the menu item from the uh, layer menu, there is also another option here which is that clipping icon that we use with the keyboard shortcut also appears down here in the adjustment layer. And if we click on that, it will be clipped and only adjust the layer that it's clipped to, which is the storm clouds. And because the storm clouds are again clipped to the typography, all of this is nested together. Now we can achieve some of these uh, results using groups okay, down here, um, but this is probably the, the quickest way to limit um, adjustments and images to graphics uh, that I know of. And then the other components uh, come into this image, the clouds floating above, okay, um, the uh, little jet flying over, and also um, the text on top.